Hello YouTube, and I'm back again, second day in a row, and I'm going to take apart one of these uh, cells, or battery packs, uh, one of many Stu sent me. Um, I'm just going to do them one at a time, uh, otherwise I'm just going to end up with a big pile of cells. So, let's uh, take you down to my temporary work area, because it's raining outside and I can't face going out to the shed. So, uh, one cell. Um, one battery pack, uh, no stick pliers, side cutters, standing knife and snips just in case, and meter. That's all I'm going to be using. Um, should really have maybe uh, eye protection on just in case the battery catches fire or explodes. Or maybe have um, uh, even gloves on. But uh, hey, oh, here go the cats. Oi! Come here! Right, so, um, let's have a go at this. Um, do not disassemble. Now I've taken on board what Raymond said that you can use the yellow wire to ground in order to um, charge this at 2 amps but I'm not going to do that with this one I just want to get this one all apart so I think we have to go fast Right, well, everything's apart. I've got my four cells out of the pack. Uh, there's the um, battery protection uh, control. Uh, I'll save that and I'll play around with that another day. Well, I've got a few, so that one don't matter so much. So, uh, let's see what uh, we've got in the way of voltages. Um, 0.11. Point one three, point one two, point one two. Okay, well, technically they're bad, but I have revived a few in the past simply by putting a good cell uh, next to the bad cell and then starting the charge on the on the balance charger and then after three or four minutes taking away the good cell leaving the bad cell to take its charge uh, I know it's dangerous and I know it's um, technically yeah dangerous it could blow up but I've done it many times before and haven't had a single problem so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do that in my next uh, video. Uh, now I've, I've got uh, two with long tabs and two with no tabs. And the reason why I've done that is because um, I'm short of magnets. So with these I can use crocodile clips to charge and also tab across later on to other cells. And with the ones which have no... The ones that have no... Um, tabs 
I'll simply just stick magnets to and then crocodile clips. That's a tip that I picked up of um, Renoa on his YouTube channel. He does a lot with these little batteries. And basically you put one on each end and then hook your crocodile clips on there, giving you a point to charge them from. Magic, isn't it? So I've only got two of them, so uh, that's what I'll be doing. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment and rate. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.